Hey guys, welcome back. I am Kate and this is Mui K. Collins. And today I'm going to show you how to get this senior picture look. So stay tuned and see how I did this makeup for it. First, I'm going to just take some toner that I have and put it on a cotton pad. Just put that on my face. Next, taking the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. I'm just going to put this on and moisturize. Now with senior pictures, you just want to make sure you're like not going too much and like not going overboard and just looking fresh and natural so your pictures can turn out well. And you don't like look back at them a few years later and be like, what was I doing? Now to prime my face, I'm using the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Primer. And then I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Color Correcting Green Concealer. And I don't need this, but there are just like some red spots on my face that I just wanna take the redness out right now. And now I'm going to go in with my Make Forever Ultra HD stick for my foundation. Now I like this because it's very moisturizing. So it doesn't leave your skin throughout the day to feel dry or start cracking. Now with my broken oval brush, I'm just going to be blending this in. Now with this slanted just foundation brush, I'm going to be buffing it in. Now this gives it more of an airbrush finish, which I want to look airbrush on your little picture today. And then going in with my NARS Soft Mac Plea Concealer, I'm just going to be concealing my face. And now for my contour, I'm going to be going in with the NYX Wonder Stick. Now I like using this one when I'm doing like people seeing your makeup because it just, you can blend it really easily and you're able to control how much you put on them really easily and it blends out really well. So you're not worried about if something's too dark or something dries too quick and you can't really blend it out. So I recommend this one for pictures or just like every day. I use it a lot. It's very nice and not expensive. And then to set my makeup right now, I'm going to be using the NYX Mineral Set It and Don't Fret It Setting Powder. <laughs> Moving on to my brows, I'm using the NARS Brow Defining Cream in Soren. So let me zoom in and I'll show you guys my brow. You want to start up by brushing them all up and like put them in the position where you want them to be placed. And then taking some, you just kind of want to outline the bottom part of the brow. Just drag it. I drag it in a little. And then I'll move and go down in the downward motion. Still staying on this bottom brow line so I don't go too under. And not too high so I, there's like a missing piece. And then I start moving to the upper and I start on the end and I just drag it down to the point and then kind of work my way backwards here. And you want to continually brush it so the product is like continuously spread. And then I work my way into the middle and just brush it. You want to brush it in this motion here to follow your natural hairline. And then once I get towards the front, this is when I start taking less product. 
on my brush so they're not too harsh. And I just kind of start at the front here and lift it up. Now this is kind of a light flickered motion so not too pro much product gets there because this is kind of like an ombre look then. And then I brush it following my hairline. Okay, so now that I have my brows done, I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Shape Tape in Fair Beige. Now I find this color is just a tiny bit too light for my actual skin face or like my highlighting, you know what I mean, like my concealer normally. So I like using it as my highlighter and like my cleaning up for my brows because it does dry really matte. And now you want to start in your inner brow here under just small line and you kind of just want to trace it. And now that we have our brows done, it's time to move on to our eyes. As always, taking the Urban Decay Primer Potion and Original. Now with the eyeshadow side, when I do other people's makeup and when I'm doing mine now, I'm going to keep it more on the natural side so it's not too colorful and it's not going to stand out against my clothes or where I'm taking my pictures at. So everything just fits together nicely and it flows well. Going in with the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette, I'm going in with the shade Tempera and just placing this as my lid and transition color. And then with Golden Orchard, I'm going to be going in and taking this as my first crease shadow. And then going in with burnt orange on the same small like petty crease brush. It's going to be overlining what I just did. Now with the same brush I'm going to go in with warm taupe and just I'm just going to be taking this in my outer and working it a little in on my lid. And then progressively just working it in the crease, not adding any more color, just using what's there. And taking a clean blending brush, I'm just going to blend this out. Now if you wanted and you didn't want to add anything more, this could be your final look. Just put some liner, mascara on, and you're good to go. But I'm actually going to go in and take the shade Treasure from the Self Made Palette and just add a little shimmer on my eye i'm just gonna go in and on my finger just take some treasure and lay this on there now i want to keep it more on like three-fourths of the way in and leave some of the darkness from the last color on the outer area but you just kind of want to blend them back and forth with each other now I find when you do put a shimmer in your eyes for your pictures or anything in general, it opens and brightens your eyes more. So if you're willing to do it, do it. If you're kind of scared to, just find a light one like this one. Just put a little on and look good. For my liner and like mascara and stuff, I'm going to be finishing my face. So taking my MAC Studio Fix Powder, I'm just going to be brushing that setting spray we had off. And I like using a colored powder to do this because when it brushes the setting powder off, it leaves a little color behind just to give you a smooth finish, flawless finish. Now going in with the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer. Bronze in my face. Now you just want to brush this in your cheekbones and just bring it slightly up a tiny bit in the back of your hairline. Now this is all very light circular motions, so no harsh lines get on. And make sure you get your neck so nothing is like unmatched. And then to contour my face like chiseled out type stuff, 
I'm going in with a Cocoa Contour Kit in medium cocoa. I'm just putting that in deeper. Now for blush, I'm going in with the Amazon 12 Hour Clay Blush in Party. Now just lightly I'm dabbing this on, pressing it in to the apples of my cheeks. Now finally for highlighter, I'm using the Jeffree Star Skin Frost in Ice Cold. And then taking the last crease brush I use, I'm just going to be taking the color that's on it, just those dark colors, and just underlining the bottom lash line. Now for liner, I'm using my Tarte Black Clay Pot. And taking this on my Sephora eyeliner brush, I'm just going to be doing a simple line just above my lashes. I'm not going to be doing a wing because I don't want it to draw attention away from my face and like everything else. Because I just want to keep it simple and natural looking. Now before mascara, I'm going to curl my lashes. And taking the Too Faced Better Than Sex, I'm just going to be brushing these all over my lashes. Taking my Bite Beauty, my lipstick that I just got from New York. Not sure what exactly shade this is. This is the one that I made from all their options. It's just a darker nude, so it's like my perfect nude almost. So I'm just going to be wearing that. Oh, shoot. Now to set my makeup, I'm going in with the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. Now when you do go on your senior pictures, I suggest and recommend that you bring some stuff with you like um, your face powder and lipstick, some mascara, maybe some eyeliner if you're worried about it coming off. Just a few things that you feel comfortable bringing in case you're worried that it would fall off. Setting spray I would bring it too. I hope you guys like seeing how I got ready for my senior pictures. I actually have to go leave in like 30 minutes to go take them. I'll be vlogging my senior pictures so make sure you check that out. It'll either be up after this video or before it. Whatever happens, I'll link it down below so you can watch it and go see my experience. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you want to see what I'm wearing, obviously I'm not wearing this. Go watch that video. Like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Follow all my social media down below. See some pictures. I'm going to be posting of my senior pictures. I am Kate, and this is Muwa K. Collins. Bye.